let's also install uh, MongoDB Compass. So once again, go to uh, the MongoDB website and then click on product, click on community edition, and then under tools, you will be able to see this uh, MongoDB Compass here. So MongoDB Compass, which is a GUI. I'm going to click on that. And then here I can select the stable version and then select uh, my operating system, which is Ubuntu 64-bit. And uh, then I can select this uh, package format, which is .deb, right? So just click on this uh, download button, which is going to download this uh, MongoDB compass.deb file. Once this .deb file is downloaded, the procedure for installing uh, MongoDB compass is also very easy. Just uh, CD to your downloads folder. Just give ls command to view what is the name of uh, the MongoDB compass.deb file. You can see this is the file which we have downloaded. In order to run this, just write sudo dpkg hyphen i and the name of your file, which is this one. So I'm going to right click copy and right click paste and then press enter and give my Ubuntu password and then press enter, which is going to install MongoDB Compass on my Ubuntu operating system. Once MongoDB Compass is installed, you can see uh, I can use this command, which is MongoDB hyphen compass, or I can go to uh, the application section. So just click on show applications. And here I can see this MongoDB compass uh, icon. I can also search for uh, MongoDB and you can see MongoDB compasses here. So just open MongoDB compass uh, using this uh, icon. And once MongoDB compass has been started, you just need to connect to your database. So the default MongoDB server is running on localhost 27017 port. Just click on connect and you will be able to see all your databases. You can see we have created MyDB a database and one collection here. And our collection is there and we have just inserted one document inside our collection, which was the name and it's there right so this is how you can uh, view your mongodb data using this graphical user interface also from here you can also create the databases and collections so let me create one more collection which will be called uh, let's say analytics and the collection name will be let's say sensor right and then from mongodb5 you can also define what type of collection you want so yeah. so from mongodb5 onwards you can also create time series collection we don't want to create time series collection for now i'm going to just click on create database and you can see this database is created okay i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video